Hello, welcome to Leadmaster. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use email marketing. To begin, you can either click on the Campaigns menu and then click on the Email Campaigns tab, or you can get directly there by selecting Email Campaigns from the menu. I'm going to close the calendar so we can focus on this page. From here, your options are to launch an email campaign, to create an email message template, to manage your existing email message templates, to report on your email campaigns, and to manage your bounced email addresses. This page also shows you the results of your email campaigns. The default is last week. You can also look at the last 24 hours, two weeks, four weeks, or all email campaigns. If you click on the name of the email campaign, it will take you to the reports for your email campaigns. Let's go back to email campaigns. You can also view the email that was sent by clicking on view and you can delete the entire email campaign by clicking delete. Let's create a new email campaign. There are seven steps to creating and launching an email campaign in Leadmaster. Let's go through them briefly. The first is to enter a name for your email campaign. Next, you have to decide who you're going to send it to. You can search the system for either contacts or companies. Clicking on Select Contacts opens up the search engine. Enter your search criteria and click Go. If you've made a mistake, you can delete the criteria you've selected, and you can have more than one criteria. The default is to send the message to all the contacts in the search results. You can further filter it by only sending the message to those who have opted in. And if you're searching by company or record, you can include all of the contacts for that company. The next step is to decide if you want to use an existing email template or create your own. In this case, I'm going to select a pre-existing email template. There are three sections of email templates here. My email message templates are for my personal use, and I'm the only one that can see them. Group email templates are for everyone that has access to my database. And finally, global email message templates are available to everyone in the system. Email message templates are covered in greater detail in another video. For now, let me select a global email message template. The page is refreshed, and I get a message to tell me that my template has been loaded. Even though I see multiple email addresses up here, the emails are sent individually and no one will see anyone else's email address. Enter your from name. If you have verified more than one email address, you can select the email address you would like this to come from. You can have merge fields in the subject as well as in the body of the email. Here's how this works. I'll erase the existing title. There are a variety of categories that contain a number of fields in each category. I'm going to select the contact category. Here are the available fields. I'm going to choose the first name and click insert. Now when this goes out, contact first name will be replaced with the person's name that is in the first name field in the database. Now finish the title and you're ready to move on. You have two choices for the format, either HTML or plain text. HTML allows you to do things like images and videos and graphics, whereas plain text is simply that, plain text. This next merge field section is a merge field for the body of the newsletter and works exactly the same way as the subject. You can also insert a custom form. We can now preview this message. As you can see, you can have logos and banners and multiple columns and links. 
This is a full HTML editor, allowing you to make professional looking email templates. The next step is to sign your email. Step six is optional. You can send yourself a test message. It's always a good idea to make sure that you know what it's going to look like when it arrives in the inbox. And finally, number seven, to send it. If you would like a copy of this message attached to each contact, all that you have to do is select the checkbox here, and this email will be logged in each contact record. Click Send. The system will warn you that you're about to send two records. Are you sure you want to proceed? Click OK, and your email message has been sent. It now shows up on your email campaigns page with the name of the campaign, the date it was sent, the number that were sent, and the number that were opened. This concludes the video on email campaigns.